The new Smart Model feature in Vertex BD 2023 gives us a powerful new way to manage door and window openings, especially in larger projects where you have schedules of hundreds of different window types and different framing requirements for each type. Before Smart Models, the only way to manage the framing was on a wall-by-wall -wall or panel-by-panel -panel basis through the framing tools, or by applying a special framing rule to every single opening. If there was ever a change, then you'd have to go through panel by panel or opening by opening to apply the changes. Now you can create a smart model, set the rules on one window type, then place that window type or smart model wherever it's needed on the layout. If there's a change, you just change it in the smart model and apply it to all the smart models within the layout. First thing I'm going to do is just add one of my windows. So I'll add my window type A here. I'll apply a special framing rule to it. Let's say this needs a double sill, two jacks, and two kings on each side of the opening. And we'll give this a label, win A, and apply it to the opening. I'm also going to change the visibility of this window. You don't have to do this, but it makes it easier so that you can select the window from the 3D framing model as well as the architectural model. Now to save this as a smart model, we'll select the window right click, go to Smart Model, and Save. First it's asking us for the origin location. I can either keep the default or adjust it. If you select the origin marker, then you can place it wherever you want. I'll just locate this right on the left corner, right on the framing line, and then confirm. Now I'm going to give a name for this project, which is going to contain my smart model. So in this case, I'll call it 123 Main Street, Window A. Now I can apply that smart model wherever Window A is located on my layout. So I'll go to the Sub-Project menu and select Smart Model select my window A project that I just created and then I'm going to locate this right where I need it. Now notice the cursor is also showing the wall and that's just a reference geometry so that you can get an idea of where that window is located within the wall but it's not actually going to add a second wall there just the window. Then I'm going to add some more up top. Now I need to rotate this so I can right click. And in this case, I'll rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And then again. And one more time. Now I set my origin to be on the framing line. If I missed and I hit the sheathing line or the siding line, it would still work. Uh, it would just be the architectural model which showed the window sticking out a little bit. So now I can repeat and do the same for window B and window C. So now I've created the smart models for my window types B, C, as well as door A and applied them to the layout. In the architectural model, it looks the same as it would if we just added the openings normally. And if I generate the framing, they'll just follow the rules that we applied with the special framing rules. So in this case, I gave my window type B's 
a solid 6x8, three sills, three jacks, and three kings on each side. My doors got top headers with LVLs. Window A got my double 2x10 headers with two jacks and two kings and two sills. And window C just has the double flat headers. Now if I want to make a change to all the window A's, for example, I can select the window, select the plus sign to select the Smart Model, then click Open in the Smart Model tab. This opens the Smart Model project, so now we can edit the Smart Model. I will adjust the framing rules by going to the Special Framing function, select Edit Existing Special Framing Detail, select the opening, and then make the changes. So let's say instead of a 2x10, we want to go to a 2x8. To save and apply this to the main project, we're going to go to the Subproject menu and select Close Edited Subproject. Then click the Save button. Now all my window A's have been updated with the new framing rule. We just need to regenerate the parts. So I can just select the panels that have window A, or I can just select all the panels and regenerate all the parts. Now all of my window A's have the 2x8 header. The same process also works if you're using our classic wall framing. The only difference is after reloading the updated smart model with the new framing rules, you have to run the generate panels function on the panel, then regenerate the panel elevation. There's no need to delete the panel and regenerate it. So as you can see, this is much easier and faster than trying to search out all of the windows and updating the framing rules on a window type by window type basis. I hope you found this helpful and that it helps you become a much more efficient Vertex BD designer.